Hey, what's up? I'm back. Last week, I was sick as shit. But we'll talk about that later. There's some things that I'm starting to do, and I think you want to know about it. Let me just say this. If you're not interested in blogging, vlogging, making money with ebooks, making money with audio courses, making money with courses, audio books, any digital content, don't watch this video. Just go ahead and go watch some flying squirrels or Minecraft. I'm launching a new platform and a new course called The Paid Blogger. But before I get into all that, let me tell you why. And to kind of give you my trajectory, because I forget this is my seventh year on YouTube and people come in through certain videos and they may not know the whole story. So I'm going to give you the really quick Cliff Notes version. I started a blog, I started a YouTube channel, I wrote a book, I made $62,000 in 11 months. That's the, you know, just get you to the good stuff. Now, let's talk about the whole process because I, like you, came online looking for a way to make money, strictly from my efforts. I didn't want to sell a product because I was healing up from pretty much just sheer exhaustion. And I wanted to have something that I can do whether I was sick or not. Because, you know, there's something I might put up the video. I may not. It might go on the blog. We'll talk about that later. But essentially, let's just take what happened to me last week. Because uh, it was coming on. But I couldn't do anything. Nothing. Except sit around and watch Netflix. And that was it. Fortunately, my appetite did not disappear. So I was eating and watching Netflix. But during that, because of the way this thing was set up, I still made money. Now, why is that really important to you? Well, here's my story. I got booted out of my life, so to speak, in 1999. And I wasn't working, so I lost a lot of stuff. Every time I, that was the big time where I just, was in a bad place and I didn't have any income. Then it got to the point where there was two points in my life where I got sick. Well, actually I got sick earlier, but all right, I'm all over the place. I'll stop. I got sick in 1994. I had walking pneumonia and I couldn't work for six weeks. The combination of that was we had to move because we had no money, couldn't pay bills and got very, very, very much behind. So me getting sick and losing things has a huge significance to me. Really, really huge. So that should explain that. Well, last week I got sick and money came in because of things that were set up. But more importantly, the, when I first started doing this, which was through blogging, I got sick and I was kind of sick at the time. I just didn't want to own up to it. You know how you just like, I'm tough and I can just get through it. And that's why I ended up in the hospital in 2010. But essentially, there's this business that allows for me to have these moments and these relapses and I don't go around losing shit. Uh, that's one of the reasons there are so many courses in hustlerskungfu.com, the disruptive money. All of that came about because I was put in a position where I lost a lot of shit. I had to pawn shit, title pawn, sell shit, all kinds of sales. And it, it just was really, really depressing. So I got a big, big issue with getting sick and losing stuff. So when I was sick and looking at stuff and reading comments, uh, it kind of hit me that a lot of people didn't know how this thing works because if you go out right now and Google making money as a blogger, you're going to see all types of stuff. You're going to, you know, do this, join this network, affiliate mark. It's just a mash of mad information and it can be an overload. But I didn't do any of that stuff, and I was able to create a living from a blog and a vlog. That's the reason I said if you're not interested in vlogging, get out of here. Because essentially, that's what a lot of the videos on this channel are. They're just vlogs. I don't call them vlogs, but that's what they are. And it's, at its core, content creation. I can safely say there's about 650 hours of content on this channel. Now, that's from 2009 up to the day. And there's all kinds of stuff. I actually had a book on a hard drive I forgot about because I'm just producing content, producing content. But 
what, I, what I'm trying to say is, as I was sitting there watching Netflix, doing a little surfing, that I saw this really depressing post. This, there was this guy. Uh, his name is James Hawthorne, you know, Jay Hustle. And it just, it floated because he was just had that moment of he was going through something. You know, when you just have one of those moments when you need a hug or you need a friend to come over, someone to come over. He was having that moment and he did it digitally because apparently there was no one around to be that rock for him. And I was just like, man, that's incredibly sad. And then I just started to think, hmm, I've been there. And then I asked myself, why aren't I there today? If that makes sense. I know it's not grammatically correct, but I don't care. And it hit me. It's about purpose. When I started with my blog, which goes totally contrary to what you will hear with all this other stuff, don't start a blog for money. I started a blog for money. That was my core directive from day one. And whenever I was doing something that did not make money, it was like, I got rid of it. So essentially, What's happening is you, you have people who want to make money and they're being told, don't start a blog for money. Don't start a YouTube channel for money. Don't do any of this stuff. And I'm here to tell you that you can start these things for money and it can work out. But the thing is, you have to have purpose. If you're just doing this just to get money and there's no real purpose, like my purpose is very selfish is freedom. That's my purpose. Uh, someone asked me, why do you, what keeps you motivated? That's like, well, if I don't do this, I'll have to get a job. I mean, that's it. That's, that's my motivation. It's not, it's no larger than that. It's no bigger than that. I have no grand schemes to take over the world or any of that stuff. It's just, I like my freedom a lot <laughs> and I'm willing to work for it because freedom is very expensive, but that's my purpose. And that's my driving force. What is yours? I don't know. But that's for you to find out because once you find out what is your why, what is your thing, what's going to keep you floating, what's going to keep you humping and doing these things that you need to do when you're building up your content creation digital empire, then you can have a lot of fun. Now, let's talk about the money. My stated goal, and I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. I started off with three blogs, business mentor credit business credit mentor passionate friday.com and urban now incidentally my favorite blog was passionate friday but i struggled because i would write these long posts business credit mentor not a lot of people were interested as i was in business credit and urban pack rat was just like i spit out two three four blog posts a day no problem because that is what I knew about. I had been doing that for years. It was well, it was, it was just, it wasn't even working. It was just downloading my experiences. That's what it was. It was just, boom, here it is. That's the reason I had so much content in that blog. And it just, I had to look at the math. I could do Urban Pack Rat. It was very esoteric. And then I just stopped the other two blogs. And I put a paid product and that's how I made $62,000 in 11 months. Now, the thing is, I didn't know what I was doing. Because, you know, as I was telling someone on the consult today, that I would do it totally differently today because now I have more experience. And that's one of the reasons I'm putting together this course, which was supposed to start today if you're a member of Hustlers Kung Fu and don't read your emails. But it's going to start next week because, like I said, I've been sick. Uh, like today has been okay, but I know better. So I can only do so much and then I should be all fine and well next week. And essentially the blog, and as I was telling someone, cause this is what many people want to do. Uh, they want to outsource, they want to hire someone to create the blog. Now, as I was putting together this other blog and another blog I'll be doing, I'm so glad that I actually went through that experience and that frustration of putting together blogs myself because even if you just do it for a few months, it will give you the language and the intelligence to talk to your designer. Because once you have this concept in your head, it's very tricky to communicate that to a designer and have your vision come out. Now, just just a hint, and this is something that has helped me out tremendously. Whenever I need something done or a designer, I will sketch it out and then 
send them a picture of that because trying to design or you know seeing what concepts and it's always disappointing it's always a bunch of revisions back and forth but you i mean it could be a stick figure you know and they can go from there so that's just a tip uh, draw it hand draw it you don't have to be picasso it doesn't have to be a work of art it just has to be legible and where they can get your concept and make you your logo or whatever you want but when you go through that process of building this thing it just makes you much more powerful and independent with your content creation because i know everyone wants to hire someone in the philippines or hire someone on fiverr but in my course no i'm gonna do it you will be writing and you know this if you're looking for this system where you can go out and get a bunch of people in third world country no it won't be that uh this will be for this will be my blueprint this will be the blueprint that i have used to build not one business not two businesses but like six now and see that's the thing what it's a system that fits into different niches let's say you want to do a cooking channel and a cooking blog the system will help you let's say you wanted to do a fitness uh, blog or a fitness thing this system will help you so you want to do a finance blog this will help you say you want to do a Domino's blog or better a Legos blog this will help you yes there is such a thing Legos are hot Legos are big big business I am not kidding so this will put you in a position to win online within a year and I'm gonna say a year and I'm gonna make this guarantee if you do the work you'll make money within a year now for some people that's just like dude I need to make money next month I can't help you because there's two ways to get traffic to your blog and we'll talk about all that stuff in depth but either you can pay for it which will get you traffic extremely fast or you can do SEO and get it organically which is going to take time and time is weeks and months weeks and months as that burp was just saying you know what I'm gonna try to mess up your flow but I don't care because I'm rolling like that and we'll talk about all that stuff but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did how I did it and how it still works today because that's the big thing does these things work and this is the thing about my system it's not like anyone else's because whenever because you, you always get these questions is it like so and so's system I'm gonna just say something a lot of the folks online who have million dollar businesses now never had a physical business and many of them started their first two or three years really never had any business it's just a network with the right people and I'm not like saying it's wrong because if it works it works but they can't give you that kind of trajectory until maybe three or four or five years after they had their business online when they go through this stuff but I've gone through this stuff several times with a physical business and a digital business that experience can help you win because like I said I love what I do and I love the fact that it keeps me free because that's a wonderful thing so for you if you are interested in becoming a paid blogger and that's what's going to be the name of the course and I can already tell you when we start the first thing that we're going to talk about is list building because one of the ways that I'm creating this course is there were things that were out there but things were not explained or they were not <laughs> drilled down in the manner that they should have been or how I felt it and I'm gonna do that so we're gonna work on building lists because this is what most people want to do spend great time on design design is important it really is but you can sink mm, fifty thousand dollars in this award-winning website and I've saw someone they had this great website won awards and when I went to Alexa at the point at that time, cube traffic, no, the cube stat used to work. I don't think it works anymore. They were getting like a thousand views a day. But the award winning design, whereas my self made, broken link, jacked up urban pack rep blog, which I created myself, never hired a designer, at its height was getting 250,000 hits per month at its zenith. 250 and it was ugly as shit so if you're sitting there stressing about you got to get this wonderful blog you got to get this tip no you don't you got to get traffic and if the content is strong 
people will read your blog. All right, so just a few housekeeping things. Uh, if you want to be part of this, I'm going to put some stuff below. I'm going to make, because like I said, I'm going to start next week because I feel that I will be healthy enough to do it. And I may even start a little earlier. But uh, you want to be in the know, get on the list below. It's below. Uh, the first link below, that's the list. And if you're sure you want to be part of the course, there's some prep. If you don't have a domain, you need a domain. If you don't have hosting, you'll need hosting. And if you don't have an email client, you need an email client. And once again, full disclosure, I have links below and I'm an affiliate for everything below. Once again, let me say it again. I have links below and I'm an affiliate. I've used MailChimp, I've used GetResponse, I've used Aweber, and I've used Constant Contact, and there's a few more. And the reason that I recommend this kit, this one that I'm using now, is it's expressly designed for blogging. Big difference because a lot of those other things, I had to jury rig stuff. But, so that's the deal. You're gonna need that stuff because we're gonna start with list building. And if you don't have an email client, you can't do anything. And I'm very much about doing with my courses. There is no, we're gonna sit and talk about, no, we're gonna do stuff. You're gonna have homework and you're gonna have to go out and do action, create action steps. You're gonna have to start building your list, which means we're gonna talk about all the things that go into creating a blog, naming the blog, and building a list. But the list thing is super important because if I didn't have a list to be straight up, I wouldn't have made any money last week. That's how important a list is. A list can have money coming in to pay the bills even when you are sick as shit. So if that does not impress on you how important a list is, I don't know what will. All right, this is Glendon. You want to be part of the paid blogger. All the information is below. And this is the first part of, I think, four. Because I'm going to do this all week long. And just drop out a little bit each day about what the paid blogger is going to be about. And the benefits that will come to you if you choose to partake. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.